Hello and welcome to Indie Game Hustle. My name is Charles and in this video I wanted to talk to you about an asset I've been using for a few weeks now. It's called Umodeler. Um, but before I go into all those details, um, let's get some backstory. I was actually approached by the Umodeler team to try out the asset and um, you know I had never heard of it before so that's pretty much it with that i've never heard of it so i decided let's give it a try you know i learned that you modeler is a 3d modeling tool used directly inside the unity editor sounds familiar right well it should because pro builder is also a 3d modeling tool used inside the editor and i use it pretty much every day and have lots of videos on how to use the tools so of course i thought to myself why do i need to install yet another prototyping asset i already use pro builder but you know what i decided to give it a try and um since they were asking and um well i have to say it's actually pretty good and in some ways it's a little better you modeler on the surface will remind you a lot of pro builder you have a cube verts edges faces you can edit the object just like any other 3d modeling program you even have icons to help you recognize which tool to use however you modeler kind of surprised me with its tools it has the basic stuff of course but it also has some special things too in the icon menu, there are eight categories and each one reveals, of course, a set of different operations for your meshes. The main one, though, is the new Umodeler tool, which once you select it, allows you to draw your mesh out in the scene instead of simply dropping a cube and then kind of moving it and editing it. I say this because when you're prototyping, it's about being quick blocking out your space as fast as possible, not getting bogged down with all the little details, basically building your space and kind of having fun. Another cool tool that it has is the drawing tool, which allows you to draw a shape of an existing or on an existing mesh, creating kind of like a poly face directly on the side. And then you can extrude that face in and out of the mesh. And then on top of that, if you want, you can actually go over to the pull and push tool and simply remove that mesh. Let me give you an example. And I'm just gonna sew that up there. All right, so let's go ahead and use that push pull tool. So I'm gonna grab this here, rectangle tool, and I'm just gonna simply create that there. And then I'm just gonna go down into the menu section and I'm gonna push, boom. And as you can see, I created a hole right in that mesh. And so uh, I find that to be actually pretty cool, but it goes a little further than that because you can actually use the line tool and create all types of different shapes. Perfect. And then I'll just hit the escape button and then I'll go ahead and do the same thing here. Look at that. And so that's actually very cool. I love it. It's a really cool feature, really cool object, and uh, everything works pretty well. Look, there are a lot of functions here to play with, and I'll go into them in more detail in my upcoming videos. But I wanted to get your thoughts. What do you guys think of this tool? Have you looked into it? Check out some of the videos, follow the links um, I have in my description. Uh, to some of the you modeler videos and then of course I'm gonna have my own videos Coming up showing you just how to use the tool and how to use all the different tools very similar to some of my other videos um, Do you guys see yourself using this? Um, do you think it's worth it? Um, I would say it is I think it, it delivers on what it says. I think it is a pretty good um, alternative to using uh, pro builder um, even though Pro Builder is free, I think Umodeler um, has some unique functions within it that allows it to be kind of like SketchUp. If you guys have ever used that, I've only used SketchUp maybe once or twice, but it does kind of remind me 
of SketchUp. And uh, again, uh, I'd love to know you guys' thoughts. All right, thank you guys for tuning in to today's video. Of course, go ahead and feel free to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on whatever videos I uh, come up with. Um, of course, I'll have more tutorials coming soon. Of course, I'll have a devlog coming soon. And just remember, my tutorials are kind of like my devlogs, which is why I kind of name them that, um, mainly because they're kind of where I'm at in my game making process. I'm learning on this journey. And so um, I am um, going to show you what I'm learning um, to the best of my ability. Um, all right. And uh, you guys just stay encouraged and keep doing uh, great things. And always remember, never give up and keep moving forward. Peace.